In this video, I want to show you guys a free and open source remote desktop program. It is called Rust Desk. It is free and open source. Plus, you know, there is this really popular, actually the most popular remote desktop app called Team Viewer. So this is the open source alternative to Team Viewer. It has everything you need. So to download this, click on the download app icon and then it will take you to the github page here you can download this for almost all the operating systems windows linux mac android sadly there is no ios but it is available for almost anything beside ios now this is how the software looks looks like really easy and simple to use actually i'm gonna give you guys a demo by actually using it all right let's open this on the other computer i'm using virtual machine for this demo i want to control this computer so i need the id of this computer I'm just gonna copy it and paste this into the computer from which i want to control the other computer all right now i'm gonna click on connect i need to enter a password or i can go into the other computer and simply accept it you can see there is the one-time password uh, actually let's disconnect <laughs> this session here and i'm gonna click on connect again this time we won't accept it all right we're gonna copy this password so you can see uh, uh, there is the invitation we can accept it or we can simply give the password to the person whoever trying to get a remote access then we get the remote access easy peasy and this is the computer that we are just remotely controlling using rust desk now let's talk about few features so you have the control action here we get many options like for example this one really useful uh, you can do a file transfer and there are some other options too in display settings you can change the quality of the video we have the keyboard settings and we also have the call settings here we can do a text chat or even a video call so this has everything you need for remote desktop so let's actually try out the file transfer option let's click on that and here you can see this is our local computer from which we are controlling the computer and this is the remote computer we can do a file transfers there is the send and receive button okay select any file you can send it select the other side receive it really simple and easy to use actually yeah now i want to show you guys something else there is a new feature coming in rust desk which is called web client it's in beta so it's a new thing so using this you can use rust desk on your web browser so let's control this computer using browser i'm going to copy the id of this computer here and, and I'm gonna put it right here connecting oh I'm getting timeout so let's try this one more time actually it's not even asking for a password yeah timeout it's not even asking for any password or anything like that and I don't even get the invitation pop-up here so I could just simply accept it again as I said this thing is still in beta so maybe yeah <laughs> there is something wrong with it so one more thing now, when you visit the rust desk website even a github page there is this warning label at the top uh, you can't ignore it all right uh, i don't see this warning on other remote desktop websites uh, this is actually good you know scammers can use these type of apps to scam you so for your safety you should not give a remote access to your pc to a person that you don't know or don't trust i just simply love how the rust desk devs have put this warning on their uh, github and also on their website you can also do a self-hosting you can click on it and learn how to host your own server and there is the premium plans too for you know faster and better remote connections this is a great remote desktop app but if you're using like free version uh, maybe it will feel slow you know the remote connection uh, so for that uh, what I suggest to you guys to use is Chrome remote desktop for personal use I actually use Chrome remote desktop because it is a lot faster and it's also completely free 
all right let me actually give you guys a demo now here is the chrome remote desktop connection successfully set up and uh, i'm gonna go full screen and here you'll notice that it actually feels a lot faster compared to any remote desktop app actually it is almost like in real time you can see everything just feels native not actually like fully native but it is fast a lot faster than compared to any remote desktop uh, apps out there but it doesn't have all the features like file transfer and uh, you know video call or text chat anything like that you can only do a remote access that's all and if this is the only thing that you need go for chrome remote desktop it is really really fast again if you need all the features file transfers and other features rest disk is actually really good plus you can also set up your own server plus it has uh, premium plans which will give you more features plus faster remote connection yeah that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun Bye bye